hoping to get you compensation you deserve after an offshore work accident. Seamen and offshore workers are at risk every day of suffering a serious injury at work. There are many dangers present while working on offshore vessels, such as fires and explosions, jet lanes, heavy objects falling, and extreme weather conditions. Maritime law serves to protect workers at sea and ensure that in the event of an injury, there are afforded sufficient compensation including maintenance and cure. Understanding maritime law can often be complex. Many workers are unsure which type of maritime law applies to their injury claim. We have seen many workers accept compensation from their employers that did not adequately cover their injury costs and which they were not able to claim at a later date. As such, it is extremely important that you speak with an experienced maritime lawyer as soon as possible. If you have been injured offshore, at Abraham Watkins, we have a team of maritime attorneys that can help you at every stage of your case. You know how difficult and stressful it can be to be injured at work and have to worry about paying for all of your costs. Because of this, we want to help you file claim under the right maritime law to get you compensated for your injuries and ensure that your rights are protected. Carson Gulf First Guard and Gulf Coast Texas Admiralty and Maritime Lawyer. Maritime law, sometimes called at the maritime law, is a set of laws that applies to maritime workers, employers, and people injured. Generally, the laws govern all maritime accidents and events that occur on the high seas, such as oil platform accidents, drug accidents, and cargo ship accidents. The high seas refers to water beyond the territorial waters of a country or state. Maritime law also applies to territorial water that is within 12 miles of the shore. Maritime law functions as one of the oldest sets of laws in the country, and such as it experienced constraint change. Traditionally, maritime law only applies to accidents and offense that occurred on the high seas. However, it now applies to all navigable waters in the United States. Defining navigable waters under the law can sometimes be confusing, and most of the law that we use today is based on previous cases attempting to over clear definition. Thirdly, navigable water is defined as water that can act as a continued highway of a great commerce or maybe carried on with other states or foreign countries. So, if a body of water in a state or connects with another state or a foreign country, it is governed by maritime law. Bodies of water that are part of the radar navigable waters will also be governed by the maritime law. Even if they do not directly connect to another state or country, as such, 
a body of water that is cooled down by a larger sheet of land or landlock will be governed by state law rather than federal maritime law. So where are maritime cases heard in Houston, Texas? Texas state maritime law is based entirely on federal law as provided by Article 3, Section 2 of the United States Constitution. As such, the federal courts have jurisdiction over all cases involving personal injury and damage to property on a navigable water. The only area that state courts may apply their own discretion is in relation to the compensation process for victims. Although federal law governs all maritime injuries, injured workers and seamen may be entitled to bring maritime claims in state and federal courts in Austin. Injured maritime workers can bring a personal injury claim under the Jones Act in Texas state courts. And offshore or rig workers can also bring a federal law test to the state court. The crossover between state and federal maritime law can be confusing, as often workers are unsure whether they can bring a claim to the Texas state court. One of the maritime lawyers from our law firm can offer you advice on your injury case and help you bring your case to the state or federal court. Important Maritime Law Act in Texas Maritime injury cases and property damage cases are dealt with using a series of acts and general maritime law principles that have been built up over many years. Legal principles governing the right to compensation and medical expenses for an offshore injury and jurisdiction for claims are set up in this, in this act. Longshore and Harbor Workers Compensation Act the Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act, LHWCA, serves to compensate many different types of maritime employees. Some examples of workers that can claim under this act include harbor construction workers, longshore workers, belt workers, cargo workers, ship repairers, and ship builders. In order to make compensation claim under this act for a maritime injury, the worker must demonstrate that they are a maritime worker and that their injury occurred on navigable waters or adjacent to such waters including docks, piers, and etc. So I think that's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on my next video. Bye. Bye.